Are burnouts real or not really? It's a question, isn't it? Let's answer it. Hi guys, you here from Blender Bros and in this video we're going to be talking about burnouts. Now the question is, are burnouts a real thing? And my answer to it is, hell no. It's just an illusion. Now I know what you're going to say, but hear me out. Let's assume that you work your ass off and give your absolute best, right? Great, but then it comes this dreadful feeling of mental sluggishness. You know, you're slowing down, you feel like you can't go on anymore, you know, you're really tired and all that. Now, what is it? Is it a burnout? And if it's not a burnout, then what is it exactly, right? And the answer is really simple, okay? It's just your thoughts. Yeah, it's all inside your mind and it's up to you to fix it. Now, let me show you how you can fix it. So thoughts, right? Just like fear or stress can be controlled with a bit of practice. Imagine how much more productive you would be if you could dodge the burnout, right? Exactly. Now here's where it gets even better. It's not only possible, but actually also not that difficult to do. Now, if you're someone who pushes really hard, okay, and constantly are hungry for more knowledge, right? And I'm not just talking about doing something. I'm talking about the real push, yeah? It's natural that ever so often you feel tired and low on energy, okay? It happens to the best of us. Do you think I don't have bad days or days when I can't focus or can't really arrange my day properly? You know, and everything takes twice as long to accomplish? Of course I do. I'm a human, right? But what I do, instead of, you know, saying, oh shit, it's a burnout, I need to relax, I need that, I reassess and fix it. That's what I do, okay? I get more sleep if I need some more sleep, okay? I do more exercising if I'm mentally tired. And, um, you know, I reply to some quad boy questions, you know, anything to get my blood flowing, okay? But think about it. Have you ever seen a machine that doesn't need maintenance or repairs? unattended you know it's gonna go to shit it's gonna stop working so here is what i suggest you could do to mitigate these states of you know so-called burnouts right and there are a few things that you know you can do to fight that first of all is diversion so it's a way of tricking your brain to thinking you're doing something new right did you notice that when you learn something or do something new you not only feel more excited about it more energetic but also you feel like you're progressing faster right but you know why well see it's simple the first 20 hours of learning anything anything at all right are the most effective ones because they give you this great sense of accomplishment right also you get this kick of dopamine and feeling of progress right this is what causes the excitement and makes it all fresh but also since you're learning something you have no idea about of course you're gonna be inhaling knowledge from you know like anywhere and anything because anything is new now when you progress higher it gets tricky because you know you know quite a bit but you need to fill out the gaps and it takes time and you know persistence and that's when it hits you right so let me tell you what i do when my mindset hits the wall now whenever i get tired of recording youtube videos i switch to studying business or marketing when i hit the mental block modeling i switch to researching references or go for a walk and when my body is you know wrecked from lifting heavy weights all i can do is plant my ass in a chair and you know get in a blender with a fresh mind so it's a cycle you see it's a cycle of kind of switching between different tasks to kind of trick your brain to thinking that you're doing something fresh and this is causing this kind of like a mental reset have you ever been outside after the rain like like a heavy storm right that the air feels different because everything gets reset after a typhoon or hurricane right you know the whole air has been removed and replaced and it feels completely fresh it smells different this is exactly what it is right so when you feel you're about to hit the wall hop on something else okay someone else works too you know if you have a hot neighbor do it number two healthy lifestyle guys this is really fucking important okay you know the saying that you are what you eat and it's not bullshit it's true if you eat junk food you will feel like junk and your performance will be terrible too it will reflect that okay so don't eat garbage food. You don't need to spend a lot to eat decent food. Learn how to cook wholesome food. Cooking is easy, okay? You can cook a few days you know, ahead and keep it in the fridge. Stop the takeouts and fast food bullshit, okay? This is no way to, to live, all right? I'll tell you what I did recently. I dropped all sugar from my diet. I mean, everything, right? And I do not eat six to nine hours before bed. My energy is through the fucking roof, okay? Not to mention that I lost a ton of weight I didn't need. So I feel better, I feel lighter, and I can work faster and think faster and i'm fresh it's fantastic exercise 
life is about balance so make sure you try to achieve it you can't afford the gym or don't have the time to go there no problem get dumbbells and train at home i do right don't like weights no problem get a bike whatever i don't care what it is but make sure you sweat it out so you can focus sleep that's essential go to bed early if you need more sleep simple forget parties drinking you know all that nonsense it's nothing but waste of time and resources i never understood you know in regards to drinking why people are willing to pay for their own headache it's fucking retarded like this is the most retarded shit for me i've never been drunk in my fucking life and i'm from poland that says a lot okay that's why they kicked me out by the way anyway three consistency don't stop training your mind to listen to you that is really important now master time and don't waste it it's a key you know i never stop right i don't know how to stop and i don't want to stop so all i'm doing is redirecting my attention to shift my thoughts and fool my brain to thinking i'm doing something new again right you can achieve a state of mind like this by training it okay it takes time and effort like everything right but it pays off because you can do more than others and be more efficient at it and if you do not want to be like that it's fine but then you know hey don't expect fireworks if you gonna do ordinary things you will stay a casual ordinary npc so if that's your thing fine but don't dream about you know doing something special because you ain't gonna achieve that it's gonna be only dreams and the last one is gonna be clear goals this is really important too set them to get them okay and don't stop till you do it does wonders make sure that they are clear and you know exactly when you hit them so they're very specific so you can't cheat because you know it's impossible to lie to yourself right have you tried that you know when you're bullshitting yourself you know very well and only you know like josh and myself we set multiple goals all the time every day you know this is how shit gets done i will give you an example okay so we have set a goal of getting 300 leads per day on our free hard surface jumpstart course which by the way you should grab if you're a beginner in blender and want to improve quickly link in the video description and we close and sometimes we actually exceeding 300 but we want to stay um, around stable 300 a day right so 300 people gets that course if it doesn't work right so if we're not getting enough leads that means there's something we are fucking up we need to fix it it's up to us to fix it it's our problem we can't say oh we tried everything no you didn't try everything because it's not fixed you see my point so there must be a way to fix this and it's up to you to find a way and that's a goal and till you achieve it you don't fucking stop see what i mean and that's a healthy attitude so doing your best is not good enough you need to do what's required in a specific time frame and that's a winner's attitude one more time doing your best is not good enough you need to do what's required think about it if you're gonna say oh i've done my best well you fucking didn't because you didn't get the shit done you need to do what it takes to fucking get it done it's like simple math you know two plus two is four there's no other way to put it so to sum it up guys look at your life and your current schedule and think how can you improve it think how to mix and match tasks during the day so you do not hit that wall but also you manage to stay productive and you don't go crazy or you know end up completely that tired it's all about shifting and balancing things and you know everyday progression okay having said all that you know there are times when you do need rest do something less taxing or even mindless to just pause for a second or two you know that's fine but don't waste too much time because remember you won't get more of it per day it's only 24 hours right and the paradox here is that if you feel guilty doing it so if you feel guilty wasting your time you are on the right track because when i waste my time i know when i'm wasting my time and i immediately feel guilty right but th that's a reflex of my brain telling me dude what the fuck are you doing let's go yeah but i've trained that for years so it's up to you to do the same so you know the mind needs constant training and the moment you let go it slacks so you know you gotta keep at it don't let your brain relax okay you know time is the only commodity you can't get more of right so try not to waste it keep pushing thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one